All right, let's see what we'll do then. I've got 20 3.6 petrol Jeeps coming. 23.6 right. 23.6? 23.6, yes. Why is it I ain't got time to take the piss. Let's just be strict, serious. Otherwise, you wonder why underneath in the comments people call you knobheads. Can we just be serious for a second? Do you call him knobhead? Then he. I, I, I'm not going to swear at you guys again on screen unless you force it upon me. So let's go, let's go from the very beginning. This is what we're going to do. Okay. I have 20 Jeep Wranglers coming. The 3.6 petrol engines, and we're going to do a limited edition of them. Yeah, they're going to be wide body, they're going to have big suspensions, they're going to have the 20 inch wheels and they're going to have a special 3D texture paint. Do you want to pull me the 3D texture paint out from over there, my friend? There's a quite a few to choose There's from. only one, mate. Is that yes, one? sir. Yes, sir. Oh, bit Ninja Turtles. Though. Right, so these are the new 3D texture paint. It's scratch proof. We're going to paint 20 in different colours with different colour trims and we're going to try it out, right? So we're going to paint it in 3D texture paint, we're going to rebuild the interior, all the exterior, and I want you to do a standard review for the purists, yeah? And then I want you to do a Chelsea Truck Company review for the stylists. Yeah, man. Yeah? What the f*** have you got on your feet today, mate? My uncle used to wear them in the 1970s. Yeah, I know, he gave me them. Okay, I want you two to go away, take the car out, do your review, come back, let's build it. He does his review, we'll put it together and see what comes out the other end. Just make sure you mention the willy. Right, right. See so I'll go, I'll go do this yeah, I'll, you go and on. I'll refine it. See you in a bit, mate. Here we have the Jeep Wrangler JK Unlimited Sahara. Two tons of American uh, muscle? Not quite. This has a 3.6 litre, 280 horsepower V6. It's not quite supercar quick, but what the Wrangler lacks in speed and looks, it makes up for in versatility, practicality, and heritage. Now let's start at the front with the iconic seven slot grille. Now you have to admire Jeep for sticking to tradition. However, it does feel a little bit cheap and tacky. I am, however, a big fan of the old school circular halogen headlights. Every old school car had these, the BMW E30, the Mark I Golf, the Mark II Golf. Now, despite Jeep briefly going to square headlights in the 1980s, it is good to see that they're still a key feature of the car styling today. Unfortunately, I can't say the same about the wheels and tires. The Wrangler comes standard with 17 inch alloy wheels fitted to very skinny road tires not something you'd expect to hold up too well on the trails. It does, however, have easily removable doors, windscreen and roof, which is great if you want to enjoy a nice summer's day or add an element of danger to your commute. Moving around the back, you can see just how big this thing really is. The four door is 20 inches longer than the two door. And well, the exhaust isn't very impressive. When you've got a 3.6 litre V6, you want something that says, I have a 3.6 litre V6. That looks like it's something out of a transit. Now Jeep also left the fuel filler cap exposed, which I just think is a little bit poor. Let's hope it's not like that on the inside. Well, we're not off to a great start looking at the seats. When you're spending over 30,000 pounds on a base model Wrangler, you don't want some tacky Sahara stitching. And it's the same with a lot of the other interior features too, like the armrests, the centre console. The dash, well, yeah, it's, it's kind of, again, what you'd expect for what you're paying for. It's plasticky, but at the same time, look, it looks okay, it's presentable. In front of us, we've got quite a nice leather steering wheel with uh, all of the technology you'd expect. It's got voice recognition, Bluetooth, cruise control, etc. It's got paddles on the back that shift the five-speed automatic gearbox. You also get these really cool subtle vinyls dotted around the place just to remind you of the brand's heritage. It is, however, incredibly practical. Lots of storage areas dotted around the place. We've also got this huge center console, which is big enough for a supersized Coke and even your handgun. The V6 engine pulls really well. 0 to 60 time is just under eight seconds, which is reasonably respectable considering this is a two-ton car. That's twice the weight of the original Jeep. Now, I feel at this point, it's probably time to talk about Willys. Willys started making this Jeep 
1941. It was built by the Americans to transport Allied troops in World War II. And actually, they would built 600,000 of these in those four years. So after the war ended and production had dried up, they thought, why not try and make a civilian Jeep? It didn't quite take off for, for quite a few years, and in fact, took them quite a few decades to get where we are now. It was actually the JK Wrangler, which was the first to have four doors. And believe it or not, sales went through the roof. It outsold the two-door model and became an instant success. Now the Wrangler's come a long way from the Willy, but it's still got that rugged reputation to live up to. I'm pretty excited to see what Afsal's gonna do to transform this, let's be honest, tame truck into a, a military-inspired monster. All right, back at base. Let's see what Afsal's gonna do with it. You don't need to modify that bit. Keep sure. it up. You like it? Sh sh It'll always stay sh right? That's how you got to look at it. Right. You cannot modify sh It'll still be sh won't it? Let's see what the comments think of it first. I think they like it. Right? And if they like it, you might even get a slot. So his version needs to be... Da -da 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 -da. Star Wars. Da -da 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 -da. What's this? What are you doing there? This is like punching and... Yeah. It's not Star Wars, it's Rocky. That's not Rocky. It's not Rocky. It is. It's Rocky. So go on, carry on. So that's what you do. Personally, as time went on, I don't think Jeep ever decided what the Wrangler was meant to be. A utility vehicle such as a Land Rover, but with the odd luxury comfort thrown in. As if it was trying to make something high-end to appeal to the California beachgoer, but still retain that just enough essential parts motto many believe Jeep to stand for. So what we've done is gone ahead and made the Wrangler that Jeep were always too scared to do. The Black Hawk Expedition. Front and rear vented wide wings, the Iron Man vented bonnet, a complete front bumper replacement and a refined four-slot grille ensure this car looks less like a surfer's dude wagon and more like the assault vehicle it was always meant to be. The quad crosshair exhaust system not only complements the militaristic aesthetic but also ensures the 3.6 petrol engine pops and purrs just as it should. Additional front lighting, 20 inch wheels with extra load Cooper tyres, a suspension lift kit and 3D textured paintwork are all exclusive to these Expedition models, creating the ultimate go anywhere luxury vehicle. It's our swan song to the JK Wrangler. Inside, the luxuriously appointed interior is an amazing contrast with the rugged exterior. Quilted leather front GTB sports seats, leather upholstered rear seats, armrests and centre glove box with hand stitched detailing create an indulgently comfortable place to be. The attention to detail is so meticulous that this interior rivals those of the best purpose-built luxury vehicles on the planet. Tough, yet stylish. Functional, yet luxurious. This really is the car Jeep always wanted the Wrangler to be. Change the music, mate. Do you sound? You know for a fact that we moved away from boring to something exciting. When you come to something exciting, people are thinking, oh my God, look at the huge change. Here comes Doug with a really nice soundtrack in the background and it sounds good. Schmidt? Yes, please. And let's just get on with it. I need to get it done. And then just call, get, call it upon me. That's it. You're doing it now in this color. Are we agreeing this? All right, bye. I got a new pet. Well, I asked Axel before, I said if I could bring it in, because it's only small. Um, and you said that would be okay, didn't you? Is this a euphemism for something, or have you actually got a pet? Oh no, it's a real pet, it's a living animal. Right. Yeah. How big is the pet? It's only small, like, like, like this. It's really cute. What's but its name? Right, as long as it stays in the cage, do you understand? So no cool. noises, stays in its cage, yeah. doesn't move out that cage. Mate, that's your girlfriend, that's not a pet. And no. that's it, no smell, yeah. keep staying in the cage, not my girlfriend, and... Doesn't make no noise. So that's it, we can all bring pets into work? No, now. she can, she's allowed to bring a pet in because yeah. she's had a bit of an issue in the past. And you're Afsal's pet. And I am your pet. 
So it's only fair for her. She's been single for nearly 15 years. She's entitled to have a pet. Anybody who's single for 15 Don't, years, mate. We better not put that on YouTube. <laughs> You'll have, do you know how many people will be queuing up outside that door? Well, I'm here to test She's drive the um, Suzanne. 